the Dong Min Min Podcast. Hello everyone, welcome to Dong Min Min Podcast. Today we are going to talk about why tattoos should be legal in Korea. On Thursday, South Korea's constitutional court upheld a tattoo prohibition angering many tattoo artists and ink enthusiasts in the country. Tattooists have been fighting a legislation that allows only medical professionals to do detecting for years, claiming that it basically transforms them into criminals. However, the court decided that the legislation was constitutional in a 5 to 4 decision, establishing South Korea as the only developed country where tattoo artist work is prohibited. According to the ruling, tattoo artists do not have the medical expertise to appropriately treat their clients before out and after the process. According to the survey conducted by the organization, at least six artists have been sentenced to prison, usually for two years since April of last year. In December, Kim was fined $4,100 after a YouTube video of him tattooing a Korean actress went viral. He has stated that he will appeal the penalty. Tattoo enthusiasts in South Korea claim that the country's tattoo laws are failing to keep up with the growing demand and popularity of the art, particularly among young people. Last uh, last year, a Gallup Korea study found that four out of five South Koreans in their 20s supported eliminating tattooing prohibitions. Overall, 51% of respondents were in favor of the transaction, while 40% were opposed. Since a 1992 Supreme Court decision classifying tattooing as a medical service, tattooing by non-medical practitioners has been unlawful in South Korea. The, the restriction has, was maintained by a nine-judge panel of the Constitutional Court in 2016 by a 7 to 2 majority. The country's medical groups have long advocated that the treatment should only be performed by experienced medical personnel because it is potentially risky. The Constitutional Court upheld the rule saying that tattooing might cause infections and other consequences but Lim claimed that safety could be improved via training. Ink was previously used to permanently label criminals and slaves, hence tattoos are frowned upon in the country. It then took on a criminal connotation as gangsters proudly displayed their gang connection through tattoos. The prohibition on non-medical tattooists has spawned a booming black market. According to the Korea Tattoo Association, at least a, one, million, 1 million South Koreans have tattoos. While tattoos are still found upon in the rest of East Asia, Japan's highest, highest court declared in 2020 that tattoo artists in the country do not require a medical license to operate. However, because tattoos are connected with Yakuza, Japanese gangsters' public display of body art in the country remains problematic. This article Jungmin shared with us really caught our attention due to our interest in body art. Before we talk about our personal thoughts, we were able to interview a friend about her thoughts on tattoos. I read a French article a few years ago about whether it is fair for an elementary school teacher to fire him for getting a tattoo on his eyeball. And it wasn't illegal in France to get a tattoo as a teacher because it wasn't fair to fire him for his diversity. Koreans also think that they should get over their prejudice about tattoos and respect diversity. Moving on from the interview, there's one thing you should know about what it means to have a tattoo. They come in many shapes and sizes and they're worn by all kinds of people. 
Some people may not thoroughly consider their misspelled tattoos, yet a lot of people don't really regret having them. With roughly around 40% of the next generation getting at least one tattoo, it's about time to stop associating every tattoo with a gang or insurgency. Just because someone has a tattoo, it never really implies that they'll be a bad employee or they are a bad person in general. Some of the nicest people I met have tattoos. Tattoos are basically worn by a wide range of people, particularly the younger ones. But just because someone has a tattoo, it doesn't mean that they don't have a college diploma or aren't qualified for a certain job. An employer should not be making employment decisions based on the person's appearances. It's time to let go of the idea that a tattoo is a sign of rebellion or belonging to a gang. A tattoo is an element of a person's appearance which might provide extra information about that person. It could represent many various parts of a person's life. It could be in honor of a deceased family member. It could be used to commemorate a new life milestone or just because they enjoy waffles. A person should not be discriminated against because they have ink on their body. According to rumors, the placement of the tattoo is really important um, the placement of a tattoo is what makes you all discriminating. Certain companies will tolerate inconspicuous tattoos, such as those that may be hidden with makeup or covered on the forearm. However, you're still discriminating against those who have had body modifications because you're asking them to cover it and hide the ink as if it doesn't exist. People with job stopper tattoos, such as neck and face tats, are discouraged or told outright that they are unable to apply for jobs because of their body altercation. This is due to the way a lot of people view them. You might assume that someone with a neck tattoo doesn't have a GED. Well, that's definitely wrong. Your assessment of a potential employee should be based on their qualifications. Because individuals are concerned about finding work, you may, people make it impossible to get a tattoo. This does not have to be the case. Many successful people have tattoos on their bodies. If you define success as having a lot of money or a lot of education, then there are a lot of people who have tattoos who are incredibly successful. Tattoos are worn by many professional athletes, celebrities, and even professors at prestigious universities. Tattoos have no bearing on a person's intelligence or disposition. The only thing that one's tattoos affect is other people's perception of that person. People shouldn't let go, let a tattoo prevent you from checking over the interviewee's resumes and learning about their qualifications. It shouldn't use a tattoo as a barometer for other people's achievements. You need People need to adjust their policies so that anyone, even people with tattoos, can be considered a valid employee. The presence of tattoos on one's body should not be a deal breaker at all. A tattoo allows a person to express their personality and they instill confidence in people and give them an edgy vibe, which would be ideal for a lot of organizations. People are always looking for the greatest strategy to make extra money. Wouldn't a person with the courage to get a tattoo be ideal for a, a company that wants that? People are all like, would. They would be more confident while speaking with potential clients and would be able to express themselves clearly. With this in mind, both of these attributes can be obtained through improving one's morale by having a tattoo. Well, wouldn't that, wouldn't that person be someone you would consider a great employee? Tattoos are obtained for a variety of reasons. Whatever the cause, you do not have the authority to inform them that they are unfit to work as a result of their body ink. They're a means of expressing feelings, creating visual art, and telling a personal tale. There are many successful people with at least one tattoo, ranging from YouTube celebrities to doctors. Who fit your definition of a successful person? You should not judge someone solely on the basis of their appearance. Someone who wears a turban, belongs to a minority group, or has a tattoo falls under this category all the time. You choose to look instead of imposing a blanket ban on tattooed individuals. Consider a person's accomplishment in your organization rather than their appearance. 
The stigma regarding tattoos is often similar to the stigmas attached to things like bright dyed hair and obnoxious clothes and piercings, and anything used to change the appearance of an individual's body for the purpose of self-fulfillment. The common reason, other than fear regarding tattoos use in gang culture, as well as crime in general, is stereotyping and unconscious cherry-picking based on the behaviors of a small minority. This can be caused by any number of things but a common one is having a bad run-in with someone who happens to have a tattoo. Another one is being told by a friend, a news source, or maybe being informed through a film that uh, tattoos are bad and that people who have them are bad people. Either way, this shapes a terrible mental image in our minds, making us either fear, loathe, or hate people who happen to have tattoos. A common phrase you'll hear is, but why? This is often used to describe people with tattoos. People will say, but why? Why do they have tattoos? To the people who ask this common question, the consensus seems to be that if it's unnecessary and it looks uncomfortable to them, then it shouldn't be done. However, this thought process is not really worth following, as it is obvious that this comes from a place of bias, as what is necessary and what is comfortable is arbitrary. Between different cultures, we will find that tattoos can be accepted. Tattoos can either not be accepted. Either way, the reasons are truly arbitrary and just only affect the sensibilities of a certain subgroup or culture. And if we were to follow this logic of pure functionality, then things like self-fulfillment reading, making art, or among many other things, would be considered pointless in the pursuit of survival. But then again, we don't live in such times anymore. We live in a developed society that provides for us health care, among many other things, hopefully anyway. It allows us to indulge in things that have no direct benefit purely for the sake of ourselves. Basically, we believe that people should be allowed to enjoy things as long as they do not harm others or themselves. Tattoos do not harm or kill people any more than earrings would. No one is harmed in the process of getting a tattoo, not even really the individual who is getting it themselves. Basically, tattoos don't hurt people. The laws against them are outdated, and the criticisms leveled against them are unfounded and hold no water and have an air of bias to them. That will be all for our Tongmin Min podcast. Thank you for listening.